Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my May Rewind. This is a series that started last month where I tell you about things that made an impact during the month. Any fun things going on with me. <laughs> May's Rewind is definitely all about TV. That was very much a focal point for my month. I always have notes that I write just to help me remember when the time comes. Let's see, my FX Now app has finally started working again on my Xbox. For months it wouldn't load. I would delete it, reload it, delete it, reload it. I even like, <laughs> I even cleared out the cache for it you know get all the funky stuff out and it still wouldn't work so then I had to put it on my phone and I really don't like it on my phone I don't like the way the app performs on my phone so I gave it a whirl and decided to try it again because Archer Archer was coming back and it actually worked so I'm very excited that I get to watch it on my actual television screen and that very much coincided with Archer's return and this is the second season that Archer has done like capsulated seasons because last season was like 1920s noir this one is what after the first world war in Paris but we started to get these capsulated episodes after spoiler Woodhouse the man who voiced Woodhouse he passed away so they continued that theme into the show but I really do love Archer I think he's so funny plus I love H. John Benjamin who does the voice of Archer he's also Bob Belcher He's done several other voices. Elementary's back with Sherlock Holmes and Joan Watson on CBS. And they were picked up for a seventh season for next year. So I am very, very excited about that. Because it was very much on the bubble if it would be picked up again. But I think it's just such a solid show. So, and Johnny Lee Miller and Lucy Liu and the rest of the cast they're so great so i'm very excited about elementary oh my goodness brooklyn 99 if you are a fan of brooklyn 99 you went through that 24 hour 48 hour cycle of the show was canceled we got the be beautiful season finale then nbc picked them back up like ugh, thank you nbc for picking up this quality show and i hope it remains the same energy because you know it's so multicultural it's inclusive it tells really great stories so I am very excited that Brooklyn Nine-Nine will be around for another season as well let's see AP Bio it's such a weird show because like the teacher is dark but I really love the kids especially Heather Heather I really really love Heather and the kids they're just very, you know, they're not in one box. They're very eclectic. They, they're human is what it is. It's not that they're eclectic. It's that they are multifaceted. So I really love that. And Patton Oswalt is in this show as well. Let's see. Legend Quest on Netflix. It is a, it is an animated series. It's. I want to say Mexican, you know, it pulls a lot of stories from uh, Mexican lore with witches and Quetzalcoatl and all that. Because I didn't want to mess up the <laughs> Spanish word for witch, so I didn't say it. But I really enjoyed it. I, the character, I, I don't know that he felt... Um, I don't know authentic enough I guess 
but he had a grandmother and even like the friar from the church he wasn't I know I was looking for a more Latinx cast type of thing baby daddy that show has is off the air it's been off the air since last year I've been binging it on Netflix I have two seasons left I really do enjoy that show I just never got around to watching it when it was airing but I'm really really enjoying it right now and also another Netflix show is Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt I love the theme song and they showed the first six episodes of this season the fourth one and there will be six more I think sometime next year and there is talk of a two hour season five so it'll be a movie and it will tie everything up so that's really cool and these first six episodes like they were really busting down what Kimmy has felt you know being part of that cult for so long you know she was kidnapped oh my goodness let me stop talking about this show if you haven't seen it go check out Kimmy Schmidt she's a great character they have really great characters I love Titus Titus Burgess plays Titus Andromedon Ugh, I love that character and I love the actor such a good show I watched a couple movies Clerks from 1994 that one was kind of like grainy, black and whitish, and it definitely felt like you were in real life and you were just watching somebody's stupid decisions in life. But I enjoyed it. Then I watched the live action Jungle Book from 2016. First 15 minutes in and I was already crying. Like, I was into that movie. I wasn't sure how I felt about live action. I mean, I know I want to see the Lion King one when it comes out, but I didn't really know how I felt about the live action. I still haven't seen the Beauty and the Beast one. But the Jungle Book live action, that was a really good one. And it's no longer on Netflix, but I have seen it in the guide for like TBS or TNT or something. So it is on cable. All right, so I have two music mentions. Childish Gambino's video for This Is America. He had performed Saturday night, Saturday dance, Saturday something. And This Is America on SNL when he performed. And then the music video dropped that same night. I really enjoy the song. I enjoy the imagery imagery of the video how wives aren't as important as guns it was just very poignant and very much to the point of now and then I listened to Shawn Mendez's album apparently this is his third album I thought this was like his second album but I love the whole album start to finish in My Blood is the single that's out right now. That's really good. But I enjoyed the whole album start to finish. I've really been enjoying people's albums start to finish. Can't wait for Childish Gambino's album. So hopefully I will love that one start to finish. There are some albums that have come out that I am not interested in. I don't enjoy you as a human being. So I'm not going to listen to your music. Alright and a couple other miscellaneous things I went to the dentist for my six month checkup I passed with flying colors so I'm very excited about that and I've been using a new toothpaste I started using it in April so April and May it's there's still toothpaste in here it's not gone but it's the crest gum detoxify they have two types this is the gentle whitening and they have a deep clean I have the deep clean to try next but I've really enjoyed this. I had an abscess and I did a deep cleaning and antibiotics and it still didn't help. And I was very adamant that I wasn't getting the root canal and I'm not getting the crown. I read about the crown where they just sand your tooth down. What? No. I would rather you just rip the suck out and 
I'd get an implant at some point in the future, but this gum detoxify has helped. It cleared out all of the infection that was in there because in the x-rays you could see shadow and that was the infection and it cleared it all out. I have like a little bump, but it's self-draining type of thing. And, but that gum detoxify was really helpful. And I'm not saying it's going to save all your dental issues, but if you do have dental issues and your gums aren't as healthy as they could be, could be, this is a product to try. It's $8 regular price, but a lot of people have been putting it on sale and there have been coupons, especially the electronic coupons or digital coupons from Myers or Kroger. And a, uh, and a big accomplishment for me was hitting my monthly writing goal. I haven't done that in a while. So I hit over 12,000 words this month. Well, in May. So I was very excited about that. I hit my monthly goal. I haven't done that, I think, in over a year now. And now I will show you the palettes I used in May. All right, you saw the Ulta Hello Beautiful palette last month. But I had another week left. And I really enjoyed those peaches. That peach is really nice. The orange, while it has glitter in it, it's more matte, so it didn't foil. I do love the blues. The purples are gorgeous. That's really what I was using. Oh, and then over here, this gold, it's powdery. And it's very powdery, so it just really blends away to nothing. So I just took some and put it in a little travel size lotion to see if it would give me any of that glitter. And it did. It gave me a really nice sheen to the skin. So I really enjoyed using it that way. Because if something isn't going to work for your eye, but I was able to find a way to make it into the shimmer which is all the rage for summer so i do enjoy this palette i do enjoy ulta's formulation of most of their eyeshadows then the next one i used for two weeks was the cat mind b saint and center eyeshadow palette got this one for christmas Heaven is an all-time favorite. I love the way that looks. So I've used the purple, which is Exorcism. I've used the yellow, which is Relic. I didn't use the red. I used Exodus, which is this lime green. I used that as a matte in the above the crease. That blue is gorgeous. That's ministry vestment is that green brown shift so i didn't really touch that too much because i have one of those from urban decay that i like too and i used black and then i used absolution the white up here as a topper just to give a little glitter to some looks. I even used Sabbath, the black. That, I tried to do a black smoky eye. That is not a look for me. I don't, I was having technical difficulties trying to get that one worked out. Ashes is really nice in the, to wear all over. Even though it has glitter, it's more matte with glitter than a shimmer. Worship is a nice foilable eyeshadow. So I'm really pleased with the colors here and what I was able to do with it for the two weeks. 
And then the last palette I was using was from LA Colors, their CP124 Lively. Got this at Dollar Tree a while ago. I do have a picture and I will insert that now. And this is what it looks like after two weeks. The purple is gone because it's dry. I was able to put a lot more work into the white because that's my inner corner. I was able to hit pan on this goldy color because this one's more bronze over here and I did get to put in a little work there. I didn't touch this lilac one and I was almost done with this one. A few more days and it would definitely be done. I was using that to darken the outer V. Alright you guys so that was my May Rewind. I hope you enjoyed. If you did please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well. Peace.